Breaking news, Nigerians, Rino Mokri challenges obedience amidst Supreme Court's appeal. Hello guys, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Rino Mokri, a former aide to President Goodluck Jonathan, took a firm stand against the obedience, a group of supporters backing Peter Obey's Labour Party candidacy in the 2023 general election. Omakri condemned their behaviour, characterising it as insulting and lacking self-control, particularly in their interactions with the Chief Justice of Nigeria and the Supreme Court Justice. He pointed out that the obedience had openly mocked and insulted the Chief Justice of Nigeria and his colleagues, even going as far as creating disrespectful caricatures of the justice. Omokri criticized the group for spreading false conspiracy theories about the justice receiving bribes which had torn sections of the public against them. He emphasized that these justices had families, they had friends who were aware of the disrespectful narratives promoted by, by the obedience. Omokri cautioned the obedience to exercise self-control and adopt a more strategic approach to their actions. He reminded them that individuals they criticized today might be the very people they need support from in the future. He had urged them to consider the consequences of their actions and emphasize the importance of thinking before acting. Expressing his disdain for their behavior, Omokri openly stated that he had already prepared a dance routine, which he called Obito Contuna, in appreciation, in anticipation of the Supreme Court dismissing Obi's appeal. This comment highlighted his confidence in the outcome of the case and his willingness to celebrate the dismissal of the appeal with a dance. I can tell you that Reno Mokri has, you know, has his fingers crossed waiting for the Supreme Court to kick out Obi's appeal against you know, the candidacy of uh, President Bolad Metinibu and the victory of President Bolad Metinibu. You see, Reno Mokri, as we all know, has this um, obsession for Peter Obi that one tend to see these things and not be surprised because this is like the usual routine of Reno Omokri. It is no longer a new deal for Nigerians to see this kind of behavior from Reno Omokri. The fact that he has been calling out to be dragging Obi from all angles, even you know, with little things that doesn't even matter. Reno Omokri is just there trying to get Peter Obi's attention. And at this very moment, Obi has, you know, transferred this aggression, this obsession on the obedience, challenging the supporters of Peter Obi that definitely they would not win at the tribal at, at the Supreme Court. They will win at the Supreme Court and has already prepared a dance that he would dance when Obi's appeal is uh, finally kicked out from the Supreme Court. So this is it, my country people. This is Reno Mokri challenging the obedience. He will dance when Obi's uh, appeal is dismissed. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Reno Mokri has accused the supporters of, uh, you know, of Peter Obi that uh, they have been, you know, very very insultive, insultful to the to the justice. I mean, at this point, they know nothing than to insult the justice of uh, of the, the Supreme Court and Nigeria at large. But then, they don't know that what they do today would definitely come back to taunt them tomorrow. They would at some point need the help of these judges, which, when that time comes, they won't see it. 
because of their behaviors, because of how they lack self-control, because of how they drag the justice. So he expresses this gain for their behavior and has stated that Theo, he has prepared a very special dance routine for Obi, calls it Obito Contuna, in anticipation for the Supreme Court dismissing Obi's uh, petition, you know, at the Supreme Court. So guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. This your cheap blackmail won't work. You are the one who has lost it completely. Your satanic obsession with Obi is becoming obvious, it's becoming unbearing. It is a fact and it is obvious, even to everyone straightforward and sincere person. Hence, never a black male. Well, senseless Reno, let's see where all these things will take you. Let's see where all your talk will take you. You see, this Reno Mokri is just after Gulok Jonathan brought you into limelight. You began to attack Nigerian youth. You with the two-edged sword, Christian, full of hypocrisy. Why is Pito be your problem? We haven't heard your voice when they called your principal all sort of names in 2015. What are you celebrating? Go to your constituency and test your popularity and acceptance. This man from the mangrove forest swamp. You can never be relevant through the attack on Obi and obedient. The problems confronting the obedient are multifaced. They are fond of creating hacks where there is none. This guy is so jobless because you have hated for somebody that doesn't stop God from using the person. Reno is a scammer. Reno is a forger. Reno is a liar. Well, playing the galaxy and crying more than the bereaved, Reno is not known as a respectful champ. Reno has no moral right to talk about respecting the judges. Reno is just gloating. But then, most of the obedient are known for bullying. Okay, okay guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. Well, no doubt Reno has always been dragging Peter or B with any little opportunity. He's always there trying to drag Obi. You know, but Obi, being the kind of person he is, hasn't really, you know, called out uh, Reno Mokri for all the insults, for all the drags on social media, you know, and the rest, unlike some other people. So, guys, I guess Obi is not giving Reno the attention that he's desperately craving from, from him. I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.